Hey, it's Boxy Guy, and welcome to part two of my dry rock unboxing from Bulk Reef Supply. If you didn't watch the first video, uh, you can go watch that. And this is uh, 50 pounds of Fiji live rock or dry rock there. And I got another box of 50 pounds here that I'm going to open. And this is from Bulk Reef Supply. Here we go. Another big bag. Let me. You can see it's packaged pretty well. They got a lot of peanuts around it. And then it's in a big bag in the center. So, hold on. Oh, wait. Hold on one second. Lift this up. Oh, jeez. It's so heavy. They could have given me 225 pound bars. I'm gonna have to go get the circus strongman to help me with this. Oh my goodness! Uh oh, my camera's beeping. I hope I didn't lose anything. There we go. Looks like more big pieces. So some of these I might have to chisel down. There's some really great shapes in here. So there's the first piece. You can see really nice big crevice and cave in there. So I'm just going to keep adding it here so you can see. I'm going to have to move my camera over. So you can see how much I'm getting and what kind of quality you get. There's another piece. That's another one nice kind of flat on that side. And hopefully. Well, it's going to be a mess to clean up later. Got a bunch of little holes on stuff on this side. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Another monster piece. I might have to chisel this one. Oh my goodness. I didn't know you could get live rock or dry rock this big. Look at that. That's a monster. I can barely hold it up. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Oh man. Glad this isn't wet. If it was wet, I probably wouldn't even be able to lift it up. Oh, I'm getting into some of the smaller pieces here. So that's good. I'm all out of breath. There's another nice one. Look at it's got a big knobby on the side. You see it? Like a like a mushroom or something. Thank Getting gristle all in my feet. There's a couple smaller pieces. That's nice, I can wet that one looks like a little brain. I can wedge these in somewhere. Might have to put some of this rock in my thump. In the old Ruby Elite thump. That's another nice one. I can make a lot of nice shelves with this. Look at that. Nice and flat. Oh, nice rocks in here. Those are some really nice rocks. Oh, this one's got a big oyster shell on it. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? It's like a big oyster shell. Whoa. I'll probably have to chisel that off, but that's pretty neat. All right, let's see. There's another club-shaped piece. Looks like a putter or something. You could just bonk. I'm going to set all this in salt water, let it get a nice biofilm, and then once it's in there for a couple days or however long it takes, I'm going to go ahead and aquascape. And I can't wait because that's going to be fun stuff. There's another nice piece. Look at that. I hope you guys are getting a good look at this. That's a lot of rock. For 100 pounds, that's really good. I wasn't sure if it was going to be enough. Look at that, that's another little guy right there. Oopsie. And then I got three more pieces in here. Good thing, because I'm going to need a break after this. I'm going to go take a little siesta. There we go, there's two more nice ones. There's one. It's like a moon rock. There's another one. These are nice. Oh yeah. And then here's 
the last piece of dry stinky rock. Oh, this one's got a little hole in it. Look at that. Maybe my Midas Blenny will take, oh, there you go. Maybe my Midas Blenny will live in there. Looks like an eye socket. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I got a lot of rock. Look at this. Let me scan over the whole thing. Again, that wood, that piece of wood, it's basically the size of the bottom of my tank right there. So, oh, I got one more thing to show you. Look at this. I got, I got an inhabitant. I put a little, little red scarlet hermit in there. <laughs> He's all by himself in the tank. Look at this. Whoop. Nothing, 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 nothing. And then there's a little scarlet hermit. So, okay. Well, thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to like and subscribe to Boxy Guy on YouTube. Thanks.